Hey everybody, welcome to the We Cool Podcast, the podcast where we apologize, we uh, demand apologies, and we read anonymous listener apologies. I am one of your hosts, Grant Winkles, here in dark Minneapolis. Sitting to my left in the studio is Ryan, inside trader call. What's yes. up? Uh, just managing my portfolios, writing down a lot of numbers, crunching them. I'm eating the numbers. I mm-hmm. eat the numbers, I crunch them down, uh, I swallow them. Uh, I, I crunch them down into smaller numbers so that I can swallow them. They don't get stuck in my throat. If you don't, if you swallow the numbers whole, guess what? You might be getting uh, your throat all all goofed up. Mm-hmm. So you got to be careful out there when you're doing insider trading. But uh, I'm loving it. Great, great. Beaming in from the east or west coast, we never know. Is Tommy the woman of Wall Street Bayer? What's up, Tommy? Yes, I am on Wall Street. I am wearing a skirt and high heels, but the jo- but the Jordan kind. And I am thinking about stonks. I'm calling my boys. I'm losing a lot of money, but I'm this having a go- queen. But I'm having a good time, and I'm hol- and I'm holding the line. Hell yeah, Tommy. Is it true that that? Uh, statue of the little girl on Wall Street was modeled after you. Yeah, in fact. yeah, the, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Statue of Liberty was modeled after. Yeah, absolutely. You heard it here first, folks. The Statue of Liberty, built in, I think, sometime in the 1800s by the French. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that it was. Yep. Yeah, French. It was a gift, and look what we did. Yeah, and it was bronze. It was copper. You know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Imagine but, looking at that thing brown, mm-hmm. and now it's green. It's, Brown gold, kind of like, kind of like how, uh, you know, I'm I'm looking at things that are brown and I'm turning them into green. I'm turning them into money. Ooh. I'm, lo- I'm looking oh. at oh, I'm, look- oh, I'm oh. looking at things that are you know maybe not very appealing, like a sh- mm-hmm. like a brown shit company. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going, UPS. how do nice. I turn this into some green? Uh huh. And I'm doing that all on Webull and Robinhood. Cash Our money, baby. Cash mines money. are a prison, a for-profit prison. Let's get that cash, dog. Yeah. Let's do this. Cash and money. We're and not. For everybody, s- th- socialism is dead. Thank you. I want to go on Bernie the record. Bernie Sanders, go fuck yourself. We're done Bernie with, Sanders. I'm done with socialism. I no longer idolize you. I'm done with socialism. I'm about. I'm about money. I'm about numbers. I'm about. Yeah. Uh, this is a, this is a capitalist podcast. Now. Yes. Yes. We went from uh, worker bees to queen bees. I've mm-hmm. made two hundred and seventy dollars on the stock market in two days. Whoa, okay. What? Mm-hmm. I'm right. And yes, I, I'm writing a book about it. Good. Nice. Mm-hmm. What's Good. the title of the book, Tommy? It's called How to Stonk Like a Bitch. <laughs> How to <laughs> Stonk a Like a, a Woman on Wall the Street. The Woman of Wall Street. By um, me. That's good. Uh, I, I, okay, here's the thing. We've been saying this at the end of the episodes, and sometimes when I listen to podcasts, no disrespect to our listeners, uh, but sometimes when I listen to podcasts, I don't listen all the way to the end. So mm. I think maybe we should say this up top for the people who aren't, you know, so to, so to speak, getting their money's worth out of yeah. this thing. Talking so about for, money. Speaking uh, about money. Yeah, hey, it's worth, it's worth, time is money equals MC squared. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm crunching the numbers up here. Keep going. It would make more sense for you to listen to the whole episode. And you know what would make even more sense than doing that? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Still crunching the numbers. I got a little abacus. I'm moving the blocks around. Mm. Oh, look at this. Good. Tell your friends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, I, I was thinking about this. You, uh, Everybody out there listening has one friend that you've thought about recommending this podcast to. Maybe you just have never done it, but, but you know that there's one person that you're like, Eh, they would probably like it, but th- yeah. this is important. Don't show this podcast to somebody that you know is going to hate it because that does us nothing. But I will throw down a challenge right here. You've uh, heard of the ice bucket challenge. You've heard of the uh, what's a different challenge? Uh, uh, ACLU, the ACLU, or something. Um, was the that ice challenge? bucket challenge. That was the ice bucket one. The actually. ice bucket. Oh fuck. Yeah. Uh, you've heard of uh, the climate change challenge, where you try to make the world as hot as possible, yeah. as quick as possible. You've heard of the March for Our Lives. <laughs> yeah, you've heard of the March for Your Lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait, what are the other? Which is what are the other called, challenges? Uh, going to high school in America. What? Oh. <clears throat> What'd you the, say, Tommy? What, what are some the other Harlem challenges? Shake one. The Harlem, Harlem Shake. Shake. Yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> a lot of TikTok. The TikTok. The TikTok talk this challenge. Mm-hmm. That's where you try to talk like. Uh, a uh, person who is not of your ethnicity, and a lot of people got canceled uh, yeah. because of that can- that challenge. Well, that makes sense. And I'm sorry for starting it. Mm-hmm. I, it was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was funny, and, it, and I stand by it. I think it was funny. But this I is it was uh, funny. so. I think, thank you. I yeah. think I am the proud owner of uh, new Mitsubishi Highlander, <laughs> which you can buy on. Uh, 
grantwinklescomedy.com yes. slash we cool mm-hmm. podcast. Mm-hmm. We are selling brand new cars now. That's how much money we have made on the stonk market. Well, I'm so bad at uh, this app even that I can't figure out how much Dogecoin I have, but uh, I'll say this. That is Doge. Uh, I don't know. I See. thought it was Doggy. Doggy coin. Ruff, ruff. Okay, I have, I have, I think, like 7,000 Doge coins. So if uh, you send us proof that you recommended this, uh, like a screenshot of you messaging this episode to a friend or something, I'll, I'll go ahead and pay you a Doge coin, and those are going to be worth a million dollars. We're taking them to the moon. So uh, yeah. get at me. DM. DM the account. Send it, folks. Send it all the way. It's Seriously, so funny. Though. You go on the Reddit page, and people are like, I lost three hundred dollars in fucking game stonk, never selling. And then people are like, "Go off, King. You do you. <laughs> we we uh, respect." <laughs> and I'm like, "This is the best thing ever." Yeah, yeah. yeah it, this is a great uh, sign that the, the dudes really needed a win. Uh, <laughs> dudes needed a win. <laughs> the dudes needed a win. Well, we need to tank the economy. Yeah, yeah. If you think about it, because. Hey, we've done it before. We'll do it again. You do it for the um, LOLs. You tank the economy mm-hmm. for the for the LOLs and the memes. Hell yeah. And that's what Dude, it's it about. Dude, it is so weird. Isn't it weird how uh, when Trump was president, all the people on the right were like the the trolls? And now that we have even like a moderate president, like all the leftists have taken the troll. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's pretty compelling evidence that there's a lot of right wing trolls. I've on never Wall seen Street any. Bets. I haven't seen any since Biden became president. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Mm-hmm. You yes, want to know why? Yas queen. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Like those little. You ever see yeah. the little m- memes of monkeys doing yeah. that? Yeah. I have a little one of those statues of monkeys doing that, and it's right in my bathroom looking at the toilet. So it's like, just don't. Don't repeat anything that happens here. What happens in this bathroom? Mm -hmm. These monkeys are not... uh, (laughs) Come on, go. Witnessing it. I I do think it's funny, though, that, like... (laughs) Seven minutes in, we're going strong. (laughs) The the stock market thing, just it it makes it so obvious to everybody now how fake money is. And it's... I The... The thing about how if you explained what was happening uh, right now to yeah. like a 1890s uh, titan of Wall Street industry, he would understand exactly what's going on. Yeah. That's, that's just how you would have to explain to him like what light switches are yeah. for like mm-hmm. 30 minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he would understand it completely. That's that's how corruption works is like you don't you don't understand mm-hmm. technology, yeah. but corruption and and greed is just in everybody's war, dna war never changes mm-hmm. yeah there's fallout 3 that i'm quoting yeah war and stonks yeah i think stonks stonks are known for never changing stonks so. never changes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i i mean i'm just you know i'm walking around i'm listening to the big short movie i'm not even watching it i'm just listening <laughs> it on there you go. on replay and i'm, yeah. and I'm learning I'm learning stuff. That's good. Beating That's off good. to that scene of Margot Robbie in the tub, mm-hmm. but just the audio. Hey, kid, why don't you make like my me and my favorite pair of underwear from when I was seven to about 13 years old and never change? There, there you go. Will you hand me one of those uh, Red Lobster uh, butter... Cheddar, cheddar butter biscuits. Uh, which cheddar is, Bay biscuits. Uh, we are trying to get them to sponsor the podcast. We have emailed them multiple times, mm-hmm. uh, but we <coughs> we haven't had any responses whatsoever. Mm-hmm. We're hoping one day. Do you want the last one, Tommy? Would you? Do you want one of these? Yeah. Can you toss me one? Yeah. yeah here you go. It was good through the the modern technology. Thanks. You'd have to explain that. To a damn 1890s man. Uh, it's called. Uh, <laughs> let me do it. You're an 1890s man. Yeah. What's My name? name is F. Hollis Gruzel. F. Hollis Gruzel. Pleasure to meet you. I, 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 sir, am a stock market engineer. Okay. <laughs> you engineer the stock market. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, what we just did that was called audio acting. Mm. Now, what is audio? Audio is what you hear. Visual is what you see. And talking is what you say. Pa, pa, who is that? Who is that man you're talking to? Who is a man with the shiny pa, who, who pants is that on? Ma- who is that? Who is that short man you're talking to? 
He, I would be tall back then. Um, pa, I'm wearing... who is that shorter man than average that you're talking to? <laughs> pa, who is Pa? Who is well, that? Actually, actually, I'm so... a I'm a third person from this time <laughs> period, and I would like to say that that man is borderline the giantest man <laughs> I have. Pa, ever why seen. why is the why is the town crazy guy now in this scene? <laughs> The homeless, oh, crazy guy I, I, talking? I do not know. No, so I'm the mayor. I'm going to call I'm the governor and have him executed, I'm the though. mayor, sheriff. <laughs> that man has the shiniest pants I've ever seen. Now, I'm wearing take regular your, jeans. Take yourself a little green back and get the fuck out of here. You're scaring my son. The pa, Ooh, pa, I'm, ta- I'm scared. I'm scared, Pa. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, who, child. Who is this man and why and what is Game Stonk? <laughs> this man is from the future, and he's going to make us a lot of money. Why so don't I... you come and sit on my knee, little boy? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this knee is so tiny. The tiniest legs and <laughs> knees, knees I've, I've ever out. seen in my life. <laughs> we pan out. It's uh, uh, to catch a predator. Now, what are you doing here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from the future? I am Chris <laughs> Ruther- Rutherford Hayes. <laughs> oh, I think I, 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 was, I, think I guessed your uh, middle name. It's Lee, isn't it? How did you guess that? Because you said it was named after a, a... I think we were joking about how you were named after a Confederate person, and, and you you were, like, very close. Yeah. It's, well, I wasn't so named after him. I your was middle named, name is I was named for Ryan him. Robert E. Lee Call. Yeah, and you can also yeah. call him uh, Ryan L. Call because he takes so many L's. Ooh. Please don't call me that if you're, if you're listening <laughs> to this. Take so many goddamn if L's. If don't call me that on social media or to my face. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I do take some L's, you know, and <laughs> I'll say this. Every time Ryan texts us, he's like, so I, was, so I was having an interpersonal <laughs> issue with somebody that we all, <laughs> and it's always just a different person that he has made up yeah. a problem with. <laughs> well, it's in my, a lot of it is my, in my head, sure, but a lot, mm-hmm. well, but the problem is you think about something enough, sometimes it becomes reality. Yeah. And Especially this when you is tell the other people. That's the secret. <laughs> Put it out in the universe, then it really becomes reality. Ryan will, sometimes you'll be at work. You know, mm-hmm. or I'll be at work. You know, Grant. I Grant, Grant will be in the vibe. The vibe Grant zone. Grant will never be at work. Mm-hmm. Grant's in the Grant's in the vibe zone like he's in every day. Yeah, and that's, I'm cranking. I'm working on the vibe machine. You're just, you're just keep, cranking you're, it. It's literally you're, you're blowing into a hose. <laughs> you're hooking that hose into your ear. Yeah, and that's the vibe machine. Grant's keeping the vibes in my life going because he's generating so many vibes. You know, yeah. vibe, so many vibe, good vibes. Vibe. But sometimes he'll be. Sometimes I'll be at work and then I'll be like, oh, seven messages from Ryan. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> they're all sent from my. And they're all about his too. new coworker or something like that, mm-hmm. and like a thing he did. And then, and then me and Grant kind of go, "Hey, man, you know, it's, it's it, yeah, it's all good, you know." Mm-hmm. And then, and then Ryan's like, "And here's the other thing: I watched a movie last night." <laughs> yeah. And then he it just gave keeps me going. existential dread. And but you guys need to watch it. It's the best movie I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. I haven't even seen this movie that I was looking at. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I've been waking up the last two days, my fingers stuck in place. <laughs> this, my middle finger stuck like this, and then to make it go straight, so my hands are just constantly sore now from working this control. Oh, oh, they're, so, oh they're, they're not, like, sticky. No, no. Like, We're in the construction corner. In the bone, the bone is ju- just sticks, and then, like, it'll, like, pop, and it'll go back... And then I put it back down, it clicks back, and then I gotta pop it open. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've never heard of that. I think I have arthritis. Um, I don't I think I don't think up. that's our arthritis. I think it's rheumatoid. My brother, <laughs> who listens to the podcast, he just told me the other day that he sprained his ankle crossing his legs on the couch. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> dude, I that's how my... out of shape we keeping it in the Winkles house. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had to. He said he had to go to the doctor. <laughs> God damn! And I was dude. like, I was like, did you sit on it wrong? And he's like, no, it was, I was crossing my legs, <laughs> and I sprained my ankle. Man, dude, also, mm-hmm. here's yeah. the problem too: the Affordable Care Act. I found out that's what my benefits are. Which, thank you, thank you, job, you fucking dicks. The <laughs> Wait, Affordable are you are you mad or Obamacare? happy of health insurance? Yes, it's horrible. It's horrible, dude. Five thousand dollar deductible, ten <laughs> percent of your income, up to five hundred dollars a month. For a five thousand fucking dollar deductible, and no like actual benefits. You can't. You go to the dentist. Okay, if it's over five thousand, they'll cover it. Five thousand dollars that yeah. would bankrupt sixty percent of Americans. Yeah. What? What? What is that? So you can't go to the doctor unless Dude, it's five thousand dollars. 
Fuck you, Obama, Bro. you rat bastard. Dude, well, how we, dare you say that was health care? This is Dude, a capitalist Ryan, podcast. I wanna go, I wanna Fuck go, you. I want to go over to Minneapolis, shoot you two times in the kneecap just so I can get you a doctor's appointment, man. And I want to do that because Thank I love you. you. I, Thank you. I want to shoot you two times in the kneecap, one time in the foot, just because because I think you're my brother, and I think you deserve to, you know. Uh, Every time I'm on a ladder more than 12 feet at work, I start to tip back just mm-hmm. a little bit, just, just to try to get my money's worth. Gamble. Like, we like to gamble on the stocks, but that's but not dude, the only place you can 10% gamble. 10% for a fucking uh, $5,000 deductible? Yo, miss me with that deductible that's shit. That's insane, no. dude. I don't have any health insurance right now. <clears throat> and, like, I tweeted this, but, like, I had a toothache for, like, a week, and I'm like... Yeah, you just have to... Oh, I guess, yeah. I get, what are we doing, brushing hard tonight? I, di- I don't know what to do if, like, my body hurts. I'm like, I guess we're just yeah. gonna have to, you know, we're just gonna have to vibe for a little bit and mm-hmm. see if this goes away. But, like, I'm mm-hmm. yeah. I'm 24. One day I'm gonna be, you know... 25. 25. The dumbest, yeah. the dumbest age One imaginable. One that will happen. And then, and then that next year you'll die. And then, and that's, then the next year I'll die. As the as, as the, the, as the, the po- fortune teller predicted when I was eighteen, mm-hmm. dude, I have been going down a death. Uh, I'm afraid of it. Yeah. I've been going down one of those cycles. Well, that's been an it. ongoing thing on the podcast. Yeah, mm-hmm. just horrified by it every time. Oh, man, I'm I'm like laying in bed, and it is truly amazing. I know I've said this before that no one's. It's amazing that no one's working on a in, an immortality machine. Yeah. Well, that's, is, that's what I'm trying to turn the vibe machine into thank eventually. You. I hope you, I hope well, so. We started the We Cool podcast, and the only one who's been cool this whole time is probably Grant, because Ryan is having existential dread. Who mm-hmm. knows what yeah. the fuck is my problem? Okay, I'm yeah. all over the place yeah. being an idiot. I don't even think that was a correct sentence grammatically. I don't think it was either, man. Mm-hmm. Who knows? I, I don't even know if it was or wasn't. And I don't yeah, know if that feel, was. But anyways, I feel a little bit betrayed, because when we started this, we were all... We were all members of the Vibe Corporation. Yeah. We were and unemployed. Like, I, we were unemployed. We all were. We were all. Remember that un- day we went on a we went on a bike ride together and all just got in very drunk yeah. during the day and we all just scorched ourselves. It was like the first nice day of the year and we all. Yeah. That was like the best day ride. of my life. We 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 Missed we got that. we went on a bike ride, drank like three big beers. Mm-hmm. Under a bridge, and we just okay, threw a bottle of champagne, here and, a bo- okay, and then we just threw so. rocks at the water, and we were like, <laughs> "Tommy, yeah, dude, Tommy Grant." <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going through. Imagine how beautiful that Tommy. You just said that was the best day of your life. Now think about this: it's over, and it's never happening again. And that is also your youth. Mm-hmm. And uh, every day is another day, just closer and closer to oblivion and nothing. And then all of that is gone forever. Isn't that kind of cool though? Because no, like once, no, but no, it's hear me out. Hold on. Once you're dead, <laughs> no. once you're dead, you won't even know. It's it's just yeah. Yeah. Have so you seen the Sopranos? No. But the gift yeah. they invented is, death of what happens after de- death. Sopranos, if you're watching, fuck you. But Grant is right. Okay, there's a half. I want to live forever. I don't know T. Right in. It's the right one impression in. I can do. Uh, right in and tell us some of your uh, fears, Christopher. But Grant is right. There's a half glass way of looking at this, which is because mm-hmm. the day happened and <laughs> this is a half glass. Yeah, that's the correct usage of that. Half glass full. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, God. <laughs> Tommy trying to explain something intelligently, and then just yeah, no, go off. King. You, know, you know what Tommy just Bro, did? Bro, you know you what I meant, like, man. Come wait, on, I'm you ever so watch a high school track meet? <laughs> you ever watch like a high school track meet, and they're about to shoot the gun? <laughs> And one kid's just too eager and, like, falls down right before the gun shoots. That's Tom. <laughs> yeah. You lost the race before it started, kid. One time this in, in junior high, this kid uh, <laughs> fell in gym class and got his head stuck in one of the hurdles. <laughs> I'll never forget what? watching this boy cry while he was getting his head pushed uh, out of the hurdle. Dude, wait. God <laughs> damn. What was, I, what, what was I telling you about before the pod that oh, I was like, oh. I don't know. <laughs> Have I ever Tommy, told that? Uh, Oh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, it'll come to us. Yeah, but Tommy, okay. Tommy, uh, what uh, what were you saying? Before? <laughs> yeah, what were you saying? Absolutely I think botched. your point is is be happy that the days happen, that you did have a good day. Yes. And also, it w- wouldn't it be kind of a nightmare if like they never ended? Which is like, yes. the, you know, that 
Yes. Yeah, but what I, if you could go back though with what you know? See, now? that would be a nightmare you could too. Warn you're, now you're talking about time travel. And then, but, but you could like, warn this yourself. This is a different you conversation say, you say, now. You could you could become yourself, but back then, and you could go stand up. This isn't going to be a thing in eight years. Better go get a real job. You would you know? still do stand up. I know it's yeah, but you had like actually, the, one of the some of the best eight years of your life, maybe arguably doing stand up. Uh, yeah. All your mistakes lead to But it also took so much good things, you know? you know? All the mistakes also lead to good things unless you're like a fucking like child factory worker in China or something. Like we have it very good. Shouts lead. out, shouts out to all our China child factory worker listeners. We have the we what if what if <laughs> Trump goes to China and becomes president of China? We have the best ch- child factory that workers. That would be an amazing turnaround. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. I, I, I would love to see it. Unheard honestly. of. Yeah. Bro, what? What, what, you, what if he went to Korea, became president of Korea, and united the peninsula, the Korean peninsula yeah. for the what's, first time? What's Trump's next move? Like, what's, you know. President of Korea. I just spelled it out. He's going to go back and. You think that we're ever going to have time travel? No. Wouldn't we know by now because somebody from the future would have come here? Not if presumably? they're wearing a disguise, not if they have a mustache. What if my and a shirt wig? just changed right now? And I was like, yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Tommy, Tommy's accomplishing what I desperately want. Yeah, yeah I, I'm like in a nicer apartment the longer we're continuing this conversation. <laughs> yeah. My place just gets nicer and nicer. And I'm like, yep, time travel can never happen, you know? Um, God, I don't want to die though. Well, I was thinking about this. Like, <laughs> people who believe in heaven doesn't heaven almost sounds like torture the well, way I don't it's laid out because it's like it's like yeah. un, to me the the I get existential dread from yes like what you're talking about like everything going away and and just like a light switch your existence is gone and you don't you don't get to keep anything from this life yeah. really you know uh, but I also get existential dread imagining being in heaven mm-hmm. and living f- for infinite well i think uh, we can all like agree time space like that that's is a nightmare also too terrifying i think that's we can terrifying. all agree though that the thought of heaven is ridiculous yeah uh uh hold on <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was my gotta, that was gotta, my gotta... idea first off so <laughs> okay. don't say it's ridiculous because <laughs> i thought offensive. of heaven Wait, heaven was your idea <laughs> yeah that was my idea dude Heaven is a place in Tommy's mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I, here's my ideal Heaven situation. Heaven was Tommy's idea. <laughs> yeah. Don't steal it. He copyrighted it. You fucking bitch. Don't steal. Uh, don't steal heaven from me. Or say you can say you you can say you don't like it for yourself, but yeah. d- don't disparage my idea too much. Did I tell you guys I copyrighted Jesus Christ? No. Yeah. You can't. Twenty bucks if you do it. Oh. Um. Here's my ideal situation after you die. You become something else. You come back around, or maybe even yourself. I People say sometimes, oh, man, could you imagine if you had to live the same life over and over again? Yes, that would be awesome. This mm-hmm. is a pretty good life overall yeah. for me. Yeah. Here's the thing. This is what helps me. What, what, Damn, you took a huge breath in. This where, is, is going to be big. Where's the thing, Tommy? Oh, here it is. You got it. It's here. Go ahead. The thing that comforts me is thinking about Everyone has to do it. Yeah. You, like the weakest, dumbest people you know, they have to do it. The strongest people. Everyone mm-hmm. has to do it. Pe- and oh, everyone so it, has done it. So it's like, yeah, but. So why can't I do it? It's like, what's. But why? the logic of that is like, yeah, well, also just about everybody's getting. Well, not circumcised, but everybody's. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say circumcised. Right on the top of your head. Really? That's only 40. Well, because I'm mad, I'm mad about that, too. <laughs> and if I could go back to when I was a baby, I would grab the wrist of the doctor and I would go, buddy. I'm going to need all I got. <laughs> and also, and here's stopping. another thing. If everyone, if the if most people who've ever existed have already done it, yeah. it's probably not that bad. <laughs> then you do it. Yeah. Then you do it if you love it. So why don't you marry it? Hold Tom? on. I was just thinking, you guys know that... You guys know that scene in Fight Club where uh, they're stealing the liposuction fat and they're throwing it over the the barbed wire fence. I actually haven't seen Fight Club. Yeah, I haven't seen Fight Club since either. I was like fifteen or sixteen. You've never seen it. I, maybe, but like Tommy, I saw it when I was like okay. sixteen, and I was like, "This is the best movie ever created," and yeah. it's just well, in it my is. head as the best movie ever created. No, I thought about it a little uh, bit. It's probably not as good, okay. but I should rewatch it. No, it's the best movie ever, and uh, if you're going to be trading stonks, I think you're going to have to go uh, give uh, give Fight Club a little rewatch. Yes, if brother. You want your dude card. Uh, yes. yes, brother. Uh, I will. I'm, I'm this fucking close to revoking both your dude cards, honestly, because uh, revoke it. But um, there's a scene when uh, why don't you revoke my dude dude card? 
<laughs> and this this I've transcended just I, being. I don't a even. Dude. Care. I'm a guy. I don't even care if you re- revoke my dude card anymore. All right, what were you, what were the, you gonna say? There's a, a scene. <laughs> this movie is so twisted. It's so fucking twisted that Brad Pitt steals uh, liposuction fat to make soap out of because you need fat to make soap. I'll tell you this. This is a pretzel of a movie. <laughs> it is. It's twisted, man. It, but. Uh, this is a licorice of they, a movie. They steal this uh, fat from like a medical clinic, and they're throwing it. They're throwing bags of fat over a barbed wire fence, and one of them cuts open and sp- spills the fat out. And Edward Norton's like, oh, 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 trying to catch it. And I was just imagining you doing that, but with bags of foreskins. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's fucked up. It's a long walk for that, but when I, you, I that was, it, a, that was, was a, a marathon. But I when you said it. that. I was imagining me doing that, but with my remaining time and all the time that's already gone by. But it, it's I like the foreskin one better. Liposuction. Um, that that's a crisscross applesauce of a movie. Mm-hmm. Twisted. Yeah, I'm gonna say that was your guys' fault for not knowing the Fight Club reference. So no, it, yeah. you're right. It's we do. Yeah. I guess we can move. I guess. Hey, before we I do, I guess we can leave the. Stock I don't want to. I don't want to move on. Before we do, <laughs> but, listeners. Write in. First of all, please tell a friend that you think would like it. <laughs> write in. Which camera am I looking at? I'm looking this at one. not even a camera. <laughs> yeah, you're Do looking not at point microphone. at me. Do not point at my camera. <laughs> stop, dude. Look at you. That makes me feel bad. You but are the camera. I'm point- one of them's pointing at you. Dude, if stop it. I feel, like I'm being sc- I feel like I'm being scolded. Quit, dude. Write in. T- well, tell a friend about the podcast. Write in and tell me uh, why I shouldn't be afraid of death or why I should. Or if you have a recommendation... For how I can live forever. And if you want, if you want a dog coin, go ahead and uh, send us a screenshot of you sharing this episode. Or actually, don't don't do this episode. Make it a good episode. I think this is a good (laughs) episode. Okay, your favorite episode. Yeah. Uh, First of all, we we do have (laughs) some some old business to cover. Uh, Ryan, I think you're going through this dark phase in your life because you told us that you're going to come back to stand up comedy. Do you care to comment? Uh, yeah, I think I am going to come back to... Well, I, I'm flip-flopping a lot. I think I'm pretty pretty solidly on record saying this is about exactly the time that you were... I think you were saying later, back. even. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, uh, Grant bet maybe March. Yeah, thought? I thought Ooh. later. I thought I was April close. or May. I was clo- it's, it's, it's the last day of January. You just got in under the wire. But um, So you guys owe me money now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think I might be making a comeback. How much, how I, much money do I owe you, dude? Just say right. it. All the, all the stonks. How many dude, I'm really down in stonks right now. I don't, know if I, can, I don't know if I can do it. It doesn't matter. 500 we had a coin. deal. Yeah. We had a deal. Fuck. Welcome to the real stock market, Tom. All right. You need to take stock of... Listen, what we all need to be investing in is ourselves right now mm. and our mental health. So you download Calm, the Calm app, which okay, does I've, something. I, I remembered a twist for your Seinfeld plot, which I I don't know if that was. Uh, it's, it, Kramer is doing the stock market in. Ryan's. You want me to do it? I'll do it. <laughs> Jerry, Kramer, Kramer bursts in. <clears throat> Jerry, they're rigging the stock market, baby. They're rigging the GameStop. stock market. AMC. <laughs> Jerry's confused. He's like. He's like, what do you what? mean? These are people's jobs. These are Did people's jobs. Money? People do this. George, George is there. He's like, hold on, hold on, Jerry. This sounds like a pretty good idea. You know. But here's the thing. So, uh, Jerry, Jerry's above it. Jerry doesn't yeah. invest. George decides to put all his money in. Yeah, and, and then loses. They, but then they find out that Kramer's talking about a stock market that's actually just like a soup <laughs> restaurant. It's like a flea market for perfect, soup. Perfect. You know, and he's like, mm-hmm. you know, perfect. And then George pulls all his money out. Kramer makes a million dollars. Yeah, and Boom. Newman's yeah. And, and Newman is running the Reddit account, uh, uh, Wall Street Bets yes. page the whole time. Yeah, perfect. And then it's, it's Jerry just bang, going, bang, bang, you really bang, can't bang, write bang, it, bang, folks. Bang, bang, bang. Can you believe what they did? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the app. Okay. Um, All right. Of Seinfeld. What were we just going to say? You're you're a stand-up again, so it's oh, perfect. Yeah. You're doing the Seinfeld. Yeah, it's good. Um, which is new. If Ryan's the stand-up again, I quit. Ooh. Good. <laughs> then I'll do it. I'll do it. Twice, I, I think me and Ryan should be tagging in and out of stand-up comedy. Mm. Mm-hmm. This... Mm-hmm. This industry is only big enough for the one of the two of the tiniest uh, men this, who have ever done this. Yes, mm-hmm. the tiniest guys. Um, um, we're like a. I'm actually like Ratatouille. I'm not. This isn't even me. I'm a little guy 
on top of this guy, I'm pulling some strings. I'm pulling his hair out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luckily, he's using Just for Men Hair Club, (laughs) which helps him. Trying to get some sponsorships here, boys. Yeah. You need to. You guys. So wait, is the is the little being now speaking through you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pulling on pulling on his hair. Okay. Do you want to talk to him? I I am talking to him. I thought. Yeah, but Okay. All right. right. Is is Um, this the mouse? Is the mouse here now? It's not the mouse. It's a. Uh, it's not mouse atui, <laughs> idiot. It's mite atui, oh. and it's a little okay. mite. It's a little mite in my head. Okay, I got I got <laughs> a little too much heat on that one. I think. <laughs> no, fuck you, <laughs> Tommy. Okay. Piece of shit. I got I got a little anger. You're in New York. You should from... be able to handle it. You don't disrespect my boy Patton like that. Okay, uh-uh. that's my bad. Get some then. of that endo <laughs> enderma endo. Get some thick skin. How about we, Endermasis? We have a great, uh, we have a great <laughs> apology. Can I say one thing real quick? Yeah, Go dude, off, Kim. Of course, uh, it's your podcast. Say whatever you want. <laughs> Before, uh, Just, I think it's our podcast. Sure. Um, Go off though. But you are the star. What was I going to say? I don't know if you're I... You're the Jeremy Seinfeld of this podcast. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jer- but the you, Jeremy Seinfeld show. But you ba- make ba- the ba- least ba- sense. Ba- 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 ba. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a tuba. Climber. Or wait, I think it's Climber. <laughs> 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 I think I might have taken that from Claimer, something. Jer- so you heard that before? Uh, I'm sorry. I think I took that from something. Okay. Uh, anyways. It's not okay, uh, dude. Up. I can't believe you stole Claimer. I, think, I can't believe you stole the infamous Claimer <laughs> bit. You piece of shit. What is it from? For, shut up. I don't know, dude. Oh. <laughs> say the thing. Oh, um, no, what? You know, you can't about, say something. Something about me I'm, coming I'm, back to stand up. Um... See, this is what happens when Ryan's like, can I say a thing? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what the fuck I was going to say. I don't know if it's good to be back. I remembered the thing that you were... I remembered the thing that you were talking about. Here's the thing, though. I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. So who knows? I'm back, but am I really? What we were talking about is I I slicked my hair back for... I, I have a I have like a slicked back, okay. very greasy mullet right now. And Ryan awesome. called me slick back right when I opened yeah. the door because I, I shot a sketch today <laughs> dropping yesterday when this comes out. Uh, but Ryan, take, uh, take the lead. When I was in college, me and my roommates, we went to this gas station. And you know how at like gas stations, they'll just have like porno magazines. Oh, yeah. And they're in like a uh, like a, a vacuum steel d- mm-hmm. sleeve. Yeah. yeah. Um, we get one. We get it. We bring it back. I've to actually the never bought enough dorm. porno magazines. I didn't know that. I've never done it on my own, but we I thought have. it was funny, you know. So we bring it back to the dorm. We unwrap it. I uh, used to have a penthouse nailed to the ceiling above my bed. God, that's <laughs> so sad. <laughs> How old were you? I was twenty-four. It that's was like so it was. Sad. It was in the party house. No, I was twenty. I was twenty. Okay, that's but okay. it was like a joke. Yeah, yeah. Still a little bit yeah, sad. Still, well. Um, but do you, do you still sad. have that? Do you still have <laughs> that magazine? <laughs> I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, if you um, could send it my way. Okay. Thank you. I'll send but, it. I'll and send that's it all. I'll say. <laughs> so we get this magazine. We realize there's a DVD in mm-hmm. the magazine. We put the DVD. Blu-ray. In, and from then on, we would just as as like a house, all gather around the the TV, watch this porn together. And there was a guy who was like the main guy, and he had slicked back hair. And we would call him Slick Back and like cheer him on <laughs> as a house. You know, He'd be like, oh yeah, Slick Back, get it, baby, Slick Back. It's fun. That's funny. I like that a lot. It was pretty funny. And that guy was me. And that was Grant <laughs> yep. in the future who traveled. Dude, one time, back me and Ryan time. were on the road together, and um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what you're about to say. <laughs> and you know, we're talking. Ryan's like. Like showing me music, and I'm like, "Hey, you should play this. You might like this." And Ryan goes, "No, shut up." And he, you know, he just keeps <laughs> yeah, playing yeah. his music, and then he just goes, being mean. "Hey, check this out." And then he just puts on some like melt porn, <laughs> like porn, <laughs> and I'm like, "Dude, what are you doing?" And he's like, "Check it out, dude." <laughs> we weren't even watching it. We were. I was just playing it over. So we're just listening to the sounds of the porno. Oh, you weren't watching on it? my car. Yeah, in mm. my car. And it's a nice sound it's system. Pretty, it is a pretty. It's nice a pretty good system. bit. It was, it was a pretty good bit. I thought it was pretty it is funny. A good bit. But it is but then funny. Aaron and I texted me. Er, not Aaron and I. Sorry, I have a friend named Aaron and I that I was texting today. Aaron Isaacs, uh, comedian. Um, two different Aaron's. I know. Um, anyways, Aaron Isaacs texts me and he's like, um, he's like, you know how he'll just like randomly text you sometimes. He's like, what's up? And I'm like, nothing uh, on the road with Ryan. He's, uh, we're watching porn right now. And he's just like, dude, that's fucked up. 
<laughs> I was like, all right, whatever, dude. <laughs> I don't care. We should have Aaron on the pod. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like he would be Aaron a fun rocks, guest. Man. Shout out to Aaron Isaacs. Aaron Isaacs, great, great Minneapolis comic. Yeah, that's that's a good bit. That just made me think of how I had a I had a DVD that my cousin gave to me. First of all, I had two. One of them was called Debbie, Debbie Does Dallas. Nice. No. I think no. I've maybe seen no. that. No, Debbie Joins the Army. That's Debbie Goes to War. That's what it was called, yeah. Is she like... Well, She's like sucking off uh, generals and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Who's um, the guy... Mm-hmm. Wait, who's the guy... That was in that movie series where it was like every so and so does this. Ernest. Is yeah. she like the porn version of Ernest? Yes, I think she is. Oh, uh, I remember very Ernest. Much so. Yeah. I think we all do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now I yeah. do. Confirmed that we all remember. But but Ernest. I may I mainly do. <laughs> Stamped it. I have all a right. gun stamp. All right. You know what? <sighs> now I can't revoke your dude cards. Now that we're all we've all checked stamp? in on Ernest. No. Uh, oh. But I also had a DVD that my cousin gave me, and it was called Grand Theft Anal 4. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Was the cover art in the Grand Theft Auto style? No. Oh, oh, what? What a so missed awesome. opportunity. Yeah, Man. I don't know. Branding, what a good time! A what a good time thing? to be, like, the worst guy, which is, like, you know, in the, like, mid to late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. and you just got uh-huh. to come up with the shittiest porn mm-hmm. titles, you know? Because it's... From what probably I make remember, a good amount of money. Probably make fucking yeah. hundreds of thousand dollars a year. Who knows? Yeah, but they're yeah. all they're all dead now. Yeah, they, back di- they then, died. Back yeah. then, you you slip up and you make one. I'm saying one stepbrother, stepsister porno. Mm-hmm. You're out. Yep. Whereas and look now, at us now. We're we're a progressive society. You're you're fired if you don't have incest in your fucking porn. Yeah. yeah. You're fucking porn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is uh, porn's the only did incest we, did now. We, that's like th- that's yeah. all it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is cool. It's not just my for, algorithm. Like, if you don't, so I'm like straight, and yeah. I have a brother. So like me imagining having sex with a sister, yeah, is not that gross to me because I don't have well, a sister. That's, I used to have a joke about this where I would say uh, my oh, favorite yeah, kind did. of porn yeah. is uh, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> yes. uh, family porn because uh, I'm an only child. Yeah, uh, and if because it fulfills my two favorite fantasies. Having sex and just having a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good another joke. Ryan that call classic. That joke, that's another one of those jokes that it would hit like one out of thirty times. When it hit, it hit really hard. Yeah. And those twenty nine times, I, people thought you were a freak. Nah, when I when a joke like that, when a joke rate. like that hit for you, you would do a little kind of dance. A, I would dance. You would yeah, like when Ryan excited. had a joke that hit that wouldn't <laughs> usually hit. He would kind of bop his shoulders a little bit and he'd go, "Okay, <laughs> we're having fun." All right, all right, all right. He, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fingers, okay, dude. Baby. And you, Definitely. The you weren't fingers. even conscious that you're doing. You just no, you're, no. That's just your body. Me celebrating. Your body Body just had to move the shoulders a little bit. That's the stupid guy doing comedy uh, equivalent of like a football uh, slamming it spike. Like a spike, yeah. 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 You have uh, you have very quotable jokes, honestly, because they're good jokes. Yeah, the, I I told your uh, your cigarette app joke. Oh yeah, uh, the other day, and it killed. Yeah, like it's a good joke. It was great. Yeah, yeah, man. It was also really fun at the live show <coughs> when we were doing the tattoo rundown, and I got to use your punchline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The aggressive font punchline. All right, this is very. Uh, this is just uh, yeah. for us, yeah. Um, so let's get to this. Uh, we have an apology. I'll say this from the news. <laughs> I was enjoying it. You were enjoying what? Uh, getting these compliments. Oh yeah, nice. so you deserve them, man. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm sorry for everything I've ever done. Okay. We definitely okay. need to have more. We need <laughs> to have more guests from. on here that that will call our call us on our shit because, like we were saying, yeah. it's we're very much. Uh, we're pro each other yeah. on this on this podcast. Maybe to a fault, maybe not. Bailey I mean, W one, Bailey W two. If either of you are listening, I'm sorry. Okay, there's the apology. There it is. That was in the news. Um, no, here we go. Um, this is off Snopes.com. Did former QAnon believer apologize to Anderson Cooper for thinking he ate babies? And apparently, yes, yes, that did happen. <laughs> uh, so we have a video here. Um, and it's, it's, it's Anderson Cooper doing his fucking thing and he's interviewing a, uh, a former QAnon, uh, believer. So I will play this audio so Tommy can hear it, but maybe I'll put the video in and the show was a believer until June, 2019. Did you at the time believe that Democrat high level Democrats and celebrities were worshiping Satan, drinking the blood of children? 
Anderson, I thought you did that. And I would like to apologize oh, for God, that's my uncle. that right now. So I apologize for thinking that you ate babies. Um, Asia was a believer until... That is a pretty great apology. <clears throat> we don't know if Anderson Cooper... Is that a uh, British accepted. guy? Yeah. Um, British Indian gentleman uh, a british so indian real. QAnon believer is this a, yes. a character we came up with yeah. i don't know yeah. what's going on <laughs> <laughs> now now who's uh now who's doing conspiracy yeah theories? is this is this uh an idea we had i don't no that guy is QAnon. yeah that's you know that's who QAnon. if QAnon is real it is some indian guy who lives in he's London. just trolling yeah. yeah uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna just go out and say um we don't know if Anderson Cooper accepted this apology, but on on his, Anderson Cooper's behalf, we accept the apology. Imagine I mean, if he didn't. Imagine, I would love to hear what happened ten seconds after that clip cut mm-hmm. off because you know, it'd be sick if Anderson <clears throat> Cooper just slit a baby's throat and like mm-hmm. started he's drinking. Like, its or he takes he's a like, drink out of cool, his. Dude. He takes a drink out of his mug <laughs> and a bunch of blood spills, and he's like, oh, 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 oh my god, oh. <laughs> I'll tell you this, my syncing up motorcycles with the, my boys is it, tweet is bombing. Okay, okay well, right. I don't see any reason Sorry. for that to be bombing. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna syncing get up my you must be, I'm gonna, motorcycles. You must, you must have gotten my shadow boys. banned, my guy. Hmm. I'm going to just get over there and throw you a like Syncing up my motorcycles with my boys. Yes. <clears throat> you know, if you hang out with your boys long enough, your motorcycles will sync up. Uh, that was the tweet. Actually, you think that's better? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's All a little right, bit I don't more. I don't want to delete it. <laughs> We're <laughs> <laughs> deleting on, tweets on. live me, on the like pod. Let me like it real quick. Let, let me like it real Should quick. Should I tweet something and delete it? Delete it live on the pod. Dude, uh, this I is groundbreaking it. stuff okay, right here. Uh, I'm gonna tweet changing my license plate to white peepo. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, white people. That's me. That's uh, that's what I'm about here. A vanity plate. That's great. A vanity plate. That's great. I I I think it's pretty. Um, I hate Twitter, do, dude. Do you think? Do you think we're gonna <laughs> so fucking do you stupid? Think we're gonna see a lot of QAnon people like learning that they're wrong, or what's that's gonna happen? Question. What's gonna happen? Well, uh, what happens to most cults when? Um, the leader is either revealed to like be a fraud mm-hmm. or it just like collapses. It's it's uh, when a prophecy fails. So is, you're, I think you're gonna. They, I think most most people who believed in QAnon, <clears throat> I think are gonna admit to themselves like yeah. it was wrong. And then I think there's gonna be a smaller percentage that um, double down, that double down and are like, no, it's still happening. And an even smaller percentage that like just are still waiting for QAnon drops. I don't know. know. It, 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 I think it might die down, or, but it's it started from like an, a fun place, which is th- there's pedophiles everywhere in Hollywood and in <laughs> politics. You know what I mean? And Donald Trump's the one that, like Ep- Epstein ruined people's brains. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because everyone was like, okay, so what? Everyone was on his island. Everyone who was powerful knew this guy. And like people mm-hmm. still don't even know what, how to deal with it. So that's like the where it started from it's just like you know now donald trump is gonna you know save everything which obviously is insane and ridiculous so it started from like a a a fun and and good place of we need to stop pedophilia and then it got insanely misdirected so they still want to stop pedophilia is my point you know that's not gonna go anywhere right no so so i think it's gonna morph into maybe something else I guess they'll probably also just find another new person to attach the movement to. I bet it's going right? to be a person within the movement who carries the torch, basically. Well, that just... but that'll that'll have to happen. But a lot of it is is like pinning their hopes and dreams to Donald Trump, who is the one who's going to stop it. Which my friend, uh, who I talk about this stuff a lot with, Luke. He's a listener. Shout out, Luke. He. Um, he said that so he's on like parlor and shit good for him just to like watch people yeah it's entertaining uh, it's really fascinating <clears throat> yeah it is funny every time he says that though everybody around him is just like sure dude whatever because he you know he's a white guy yeah. mm-hmm. uh we're the ones um but he was like there's a there's conspiracy there's a lot of people who won't ever give this up because now there's a conspiracy going around that biden is trump 
They what? they did face off with Biden. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so are they pro Biden now? Yes. Mm-hmm. They think Biden is Trump. They so have any... literally horseshoed back around yeah. into moderates. Yeah. Well, oh, but not really you're kidding they me. Think it's this Trump. can't be like a no, prominent. They did like a 420. This, a 420. This is absolutely. <laughs> You know oh, what I'm nice, saying? dude. You know what I'm saying, dog? They did a 360, went 60 more degrees, and smoked some fucking hoe. Smoked some fucking hoe. Yes, baby. Legalize it. Come on, why don't you uh, suck on my joint, baby? Smoking uh, some weed, dude. I'm fucking. Uh, dude, I freaking love smoking dude, some Dude, do you ever get so fucking blazed drawing Kuna, and then you think, fucking. <laughs> Trump is Biden now, dude? Dude, I've had a long, hard life, mostly from smoking weed. One time I sucked a dick for weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ever think Joe Biden And then it turned out to be my own Trump. fucking dick, dude. It's how fucking yeah, high I sucked my own dick and I had weed. And I was just, I was trying to smoke my bum, dude. Oh, and dude, is that Ray Romano, dude? <laughs> dude Ray 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 is that, is that Ray smoking Ray weed Ray, Ray Romano Ray. over there? <laughs> Damn Damn right. Stop yelling at De- my smoking weed Debra, I, I tried to hit my bong And I just ended up sucking my own dick Debra yeah. Ray, Hi Ray Romano is when his mom Is just like it's just like You gotta eat more He's like dude of course man I'm fucking <laughs> stunned out of my mind oh. Dude I'm dread of Monday That's, that's the only change of the show uh, anyways, uh, QAnon's yeah, cool. Perk. It's cool, right? Yeah. I I don't I don't know. It you know what you got to do used to be cool. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? No, no. No, it never was cool, but it it used it's, you're right, Tommy. It used to be fun. It used to be it fun. It started to, as a, it started as a, a genuine place of starting pedophiles. I, Dude, uh, wait, I can't believe do the they pro- how the problem prominent is, of a belief is it that they really think uh, Biden is Trump now? I can't believe that. I'm still stuck I on that. I bet it's a small portion of them. But, dude, even what they initially believed in was, like, pretty pretty out there stuff. Yes. Um, they they will, no matter, for the certain amount of people who you said who will die. I got to pee. I'll be right it. back. Yeah. So for the, the rude while Grant is making a point, but okay, Tom. The, the the certain amount of people who will double down on it and, and are just going to be believers until they die, they, like, they can't not believe it. So they would, they would believe that, Biden is Trump instead of <laughs> believing anything else. Yeah. Which is honestly kind of respectable of a thing. Not respectable. <laughs> not respectable, but it's it's like uh it's like it's like what we were talking about with heaven earlier. It's yeah. like a religious belief. You know, it's It is a yeah, religion. Respect, re- respectable is the wrong word. It's like um admirable. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like admirable yeah. the amount of blind faith that you have. Not any of the content of what they yeah. believe in, but the true believer yeah. aspect of it i mean i don't find it really admirable because that's not like i don't believe in any of that yeah. even the religion stuff or anything yeah. but it is like it's impressive is what it is it's for somebody to back. have that amount of blind faith yeah is sh- impressive to okay. me okay i should also apologize real quick to any of our listeners who uh, are, are i guess into q and on <laughs> yeah no, who who have like a belief of like the afterlife where oh. heaven is involved because you know, hey, I'm not trying to insult your beliefs, you know, you're not an idiot if you do believe that. Yeah, um, it's my idea. They should <laughs> they should <laughs> believe in my concept. If I, if you want to believe it th- for 5.99 every month, <laughs> you can be guaranteed to go to a cup heaven. of coffee. I invented heaven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rich guy, rich guy trying to sell people into heaven yeah. for seven ninety nine a month, or the price of a banana. And dude, you. if you think about it, rich guy selling you into heaven, dude, that's what the fucking Catholic Church is, bro. Dude, what's up? I'm Joe Biden, who smoked dude, a bunch of weed. Dude, I'm stoned, so stoned right now. Dude, Joe Biden smoked weed, dude. Dude, I just this is okay. A stoner who's um having having dude, urine. Why is a, a stoner guy who's having weed? urine problems. Yeah. Dude, I just passed a kidney stone, dude. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I apologize, I'm everyone. kidney stone, dude. What about this? Kid- what about um, QAnon Ray Romano? Deborah Anderson Deborah, Cooper they is... They want to molest our children! Anderson Deborah. Cooper is d- drinking <clears throat> the blood of babies, Deborah. Lashes. Uh. <laughs> now, okay, Matthew Mc- QAnon Matthew McConaughey. That's just the thing about pedophiles. I'm one of them. I was on Epstein's. I, I was there. I know. I know. 
I've seen things, man. It's just him as Russ Cole in True yeah. Detective with mm-hmm. the beer cans mm-hmm. like all cut up, and he's like, "I've done things, man. I've done things. I've done things with Jeffrey Epstein." It's like it's like he busts uh, he busts the pedophile ring, and he's like, "Only one rule: gotta let me in, man." Yeah. <laughs> well, he busts it, and then he goes, "Oh my god, it was me this whole time." <laughs> he he opens a door, and it's like a bunch of people. And then they all move out of the way, and it's a portrait of him. Yeah, sure. and he has With a crown the mustache, on. Yeah, yeah he, has a, he has a mustache and a monocle. <laughs> oh my god! Well, sometimes I, I find myself driving Lincoln, <laughs> and I think, "Well, goddamn, I'm a pedophile." <laughs> well, I just can't believe it. Um, <clears throat> thanks everybody. World, uh, <laughs> this whole fucked up world that I have vastly contributed to making worse. You know, sometimes I look up there in this night sky, and they used to say that it was all there wasn't no stars up there, but now they are there. <laughs> there's a star for each child that Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> molested, and so by doing, uh, I was on the flat logs. Look at the look at the logs. Me there. and Chris Tucker were getting fucked up, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's his character from True Detective. My, fav- my favorite, my favorite book is The Flat Logs. <laughs> I love to read the flat logs. <laughs> I poured over those flat logs. What about Forrest Gump? And he's on, he's on the flight logs. That would no, be, dude, for, oh Forrest God, Gump. If they, made, if they made Forrest Gump now, Forrest <laughs> Gump would. There would be a scene where he's just on the Epstein plane. Yeah, but he's, he's just. He's also like somehow the guy who killed Epstein by mistake. Yeah, like he's the prison guard. I would. didn't mean to kill Epstein. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's like, uh huh. <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, it, well, it's just him at the airport the whole movie, you know? And he's, like, talking about stuff. And then, like, Jeffrey Epstein's like, all right, come on, bro. And he's like, well, I got to go now. Um, okay, the, the the modern Forrest Gump would yeah. be so amazing because you get, what, you get 9-11, you get Hurricane Katrina. He fights in the Gulf War, probably, or yep. the Iraq War. Yep, yep. Iraq and Afghanistan, probably. Mm-hmm. He like Oof. does the two for. He's in the Capitol uh, building. <clears throat> yeah, he storms the Capitol. He acts, he's, he's one of the Jenny. people who accidentally get Trump elected. Yep, yep. <clears throat> and what 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 else do we got? We got Jenny. That, we Jenny got that would be an recession. Aide. Jenny would be an aide for uh, Obama and then mm-hmm. for Hillary. Yep. He's um, at. Uh, uh, we get we get Forrest Gump at Occupy Wall Street. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, like rallying people, but he doesn't know he's a socialist. Yeah, like he's trying to be a good. He's just drinking Dr Pepper yep. or something. Yeah. Oh wow, the Trump. Ele- I mean, MAGA. Forrest it's starring Trump's Chet Hanks. Too. I think he's confused, but he's he's there and he's like, okay, there's a scene where he's at a Trump rally. He's wearing a MAGA hat, <laughs> and it, the voiceover <laughs> starts, and he goes, "I was looking at those people, and I started to realize that some of these people." were very angry yeah. <laughs> and they were filled with a lot of ideas about people who are different but the man on stage seemed to okay, be making but them guys happy. what if it's starring chet hanks <laughs> tom hanks son manager. instead of Ooh. instead of him doing like mentally handicapped voice he's doing like his dumb jamaican Reggae. like yeah. cosplaying voice and he's like yeah. life is a, like a box of chocolates boom <laughs> clock, man you never know what you're gonna get man <laughs> Make America great again, man. Hey, I'm but your he's, tanks. He's sitting next to like a black woman on the bu- on the uh, bench, and she mm-hmm. just punches him. Yeah, mm-hmm. or because he, he says the n word right she's, in front of her. She's filming him on his phone, canceling him. <laughs> that's that's the end to the Ooh, story. Gump gets canceled. Oh God, that now that just sounds sad. Then uh, then what's his name's gonna have to write a new song? Uh, not Willy Wonka, but. Wizard Al. Weird Al. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not a wizard. Not, <laughs> not a really Willy wizard Wonka. Al. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of getting canceled, not I, a Willy I say Wonka <laughs> artist. The other guy. Not Johnny Depp. Not Willy Wonka. Weird Al. I speaking like I I think I'm calling it. Grant's making a prediction. Uh, next celeb to get canceled. Pew, 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 pew. Grant prediction. Get into the Grant prediction corner. Welcome to bow, the motherfucking bow, bow, Grant bow, bow. prediction show, you piece of fuck shit. You, listen fuck up, you, here, you I mother- hate you. Welcome. You better be ready to listen to the future. Listen up here, you <laughs> ugly motherfuckers. It's the future. The Grant prediction <laughs> corner. <laughs> you bring. Uh, hello, it's the future calling your mom. Uh, okay, <laughs> we just wanted to say uh, that your hi, mom the is 90s a bitch. called your mom's gay. <laughs> Clean.
Hank. <laughs> Hank. <laughs> Boom! All right, Grant. I, I had my own podcast. Grant, <laughs> give me that sweet, sweet Forrest prediction. Grant, give me that sweet, sweet prediction. Next, uh, my king. next celeb to get next celeb to get canceled. Weird Al. You know why? He's too damn weird. He's a little too weird. He's Not enough too, Al. He's too damn weird. <laughs> too much weird. Too little Al. If you ask me. Pew pew. And that was the Grant prediction corner. Grant prediction. <laughs> okay. Should we have? Do we have a listener apology? Listener apology. I feel, is this a two-hour episode? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just feels Three like hours. a really long time. Actually, we're at uh, fifteen minutes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we do have a listener apology. Indeed, we do. Tommy's used the bathroom three yeah, times. Yeah, I've been in fifteen-minute episode. All the cool kids, Peter. Peter. All the cool kids paint on the panel. <laughs> Okay. Ray, what about Ray Romano? And he's just like, all the cool kids are peeing their pants, okay? It's not a big deal. And, and then you're like, why Ray are you Romano doing fucking Happy Gilmore bits right now? Yeah. Yeah. Is it Happy Gilmore? Reboot or, or every Adam S- It's Billy, Billy, Madison. Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Reboot every Adam Sandler movie with Ray Romano now. Dude, I would watch the shit yeah. out of those. Waterboy, but with Ray Romano. Oh, let's don't go. Don't say that about my mom. <laughs> I can't do Ray Romano. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> that was. <laughs> uh, do it again. Uh, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, someone say it's some high quality H2O for me, please. Yeah, it's some high quality H2O. That's, that's some high quality Thank H2O. Thank you. My voice doesn't go that deep. I'm like going into well, None of us are doing it. Yeah, no. We're all bad. going dumb, it's baby. All bad. It's all bad. <laughs> Dude, I hang so it up with you guys dummy. long enough, and it's just like I have just my brain is just kind of two little pinto beans. And they're kind of just <laughs> fighting each other. And that's what it is. <laughs> that's Inside what this every, podcast every is. Every podcaster brain is two pinto beans. <laughs> one that want, that one is bad <laughs> and the other is good. And one of those pinto beans has to eat the other pinto bean. And if it doesn't eat it, guess what? You're going to have a whole pinto plant growing in your... Two pinto plants growing in your gra- brain. Uh, welcome to Guan... Ta, Guan... Guan ta, <laughs> Welcome to Guantanamo Bean. Guantanamo Bean. Guantanamo Bean. Guantanamo. Guantanamo Pinto we Bean. <laughs> we found out that we could actually save a lot of money if we combined Quantico with Guantanamo Bay. So now we have the the biggest FBI station in the world. They're working in Abu Ghraib. And, and you see now what we've done with it is we've taken it and we figured we could fa- save even more space. We shrunk them down and put them on a bean instead of a bay. This is your brain. On when, the, when the pinto, be- when one this pinto is your brain bean. on beans. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to beans, bitch. Okay, we need to stop, bro. We need to stop. It's too much, man. <laughs> what about a radio, a radio show <laughs> called Beans in the Morning? <laughs> you listen to Beans in the Morning. <laughs> I shit myself six in the times. <laughs> the, you're listening to cla- the classic rock station, Beans in the Morning. I'm Beans. Beans 105, bitch. Beans 105. <laughs> you listen You listen to Beans in the Morning, baby. We o- hope you get... There would be a voiceover that's like, hope you got your coffee. You know where coffee comes from. <laughs> beans. Oh, God. All that's right. pretty good, man. Yeah, not bad. We're getting there. I would like to apologize to everyone who came to the restaurant I used to work at and tried to order ranch on their salad. We did not have ranch. (laughs) I don't know why, really. I think it was to make the place seem classier. We only had four dressings that were all house-made. What was... Sorry. What was even more fucked was that the other location of the restaurant did have ranch. That means people would be like... I have gotten ranch here before. I'd like to have it again. Was it the other location? They hated that. The closest thing we had at my location was Chipotle buttermilk vinaigrette, which I would say was, quote, like a spicy ranch. That was not very appealing to most people. I have never been this invested in an apology. Yeah, I, I, I'm very <laughs> curious. It is, I mean, this is yeah, a very, I'm it's got to be like a Midwestern apology, though, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Over the nine or so months I worked there, I felt like I had let down hundreds of people when I had to tell them they could not get ranch as their dressing. I am sorry to every last one of them. That I mean, that's why you get invested in a, in a podcast and in an apology because yeah. this is like this is. But also, real. I'll okay. say this: this is what's wrong with capitalism. Is this person shouldn't have to take ownership for the uh, place they're working at not having ranch. Also, I love to imagine the thought process of them. Okay, so let's let's. Yeah, roll. how do we feel about okay. this, do man? Guys, I, um, I'm, first th- of all, it's bullshit that a restaurant doesn't have ranch. So wait, t- uh, I'm. I'll be I'll be this person. Okay, you're the server. Yeah, uh, one of you guys. You guys can actually. I think Tommy should be the server okay, so because Tommy, you're, you're <laughs> living this situation. Tommy, you're the server. Okay, and then we're we're or okay, so we're ordering. Uh-huh. I go okay. Okay, um, what's what's yeah, my what's cheese. my name? I'm I'm getting nervous Tommy. about being the server. Matilda. Okay. Tommy Matilda. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Makilda. I'll be your server this evening. Uh, cool. What's up, Makilda? I'm Beans. <laughs> hey, I, yeah, it's me. Uh, it's me, Beans. Beans' dad. Beans' dad. This is Beans, and I'm Beans' dad. He's a horrible father. Mm-hmm. Well, here's some menus the, for you guys. I'll let you guys uh, take. Oh, I don't. I, I, oh, do you, you I guys already had menu. menus. I know exactly we, what I want. Because here's the thing: we've I've already, had ranch here before. Yeah, we've eaten here. So I, I would just like a salad with ranch. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'll just take a big plate of beans. <laughs> You want you want ranch with your beans though, right? Nah, just okay. beans. Oh, okay. So, cool. um, for for you, uh, a salad with ranch. But to drink, I would like a glass of ranch dressing. And then, and then you would like a, a glass of ranch to drink. Yeah. Okay. I do have some bad news, and I'm really really sorry. Um, I'll stop you there. <laughs> I've never accepted when someone has set, told me. Well, bad have news. you accepted um, someone saying you have we, we have some good news and bad news? I love good well, news. Well, would you like the bad news or good news first? I didn't. I only heard the good news because I was talking. Well, over I, I have some good news. I do have this uh, spicy Chipotle uh, fucking mm. shit that is uh, very similar to ranch. And no, uh, no, no, that's not what ranch is. No. Okay. Ranch negates the ability. Makilda, to... have you ever been on a ranch? Uh, yeah, I grew up on a ranch actually. Makilda, have you ever eaten Cool Ranch Doritos? Yeah, I've. Uh, my father. My no, father no, no, founded whoa, Cool Ranch. Whoa. whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I... Girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Hey, hey, Beans, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, I beans. thought your name was Beans. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> whoa, we need to talk. I was just going to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going to back you up. Okay, I'm sorry. Go to sleep. Sit down, sit down. Sit, sit down at the table. Sit on the floor. I'm getting so sleepy now. Sit on the just, floor. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna go and curl sit up right down, over here. Sit down. Sit Chris, down. Chris, crisscross it. Okay, now I'm back up. Um, <clears throat> now Matilda. Yeah. <clears throat> I did forget what I was gonna say. Except, uh, cool ranch Doritos. Where do you think the cool is coming from? Well, I assume you two. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I like this. I'm starting to I like, like this. Guy. I'm starting and, to and like this. And you guys, I hate to, I hate to McKill like your vibe. <laughs> oh. Uh. Was that funny what she just did? I I think it might have been. We'll have to let the listeners All right. decide. Well, I hate to um, kill your vibe, but um, mm, less funny. I don't the like second it the time, second time. Yeah. No, and she did it the first time. Mm-hmm. That was funny. Well, um, I don't like to kill the vibe. Ah, would be better. that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I'd, well, uh, again, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry kill, to interrupt. My favorite Dave Chappelle my special vibe. is McKilling them softly. But anyways, uh, let me just mm. say. Uh, That's okay. She's like doing the same thing, but just with a different phrase. But okay. Let me just say. We, I, I can't do anything. Because <laughs> we, we don't, ha- we, we don't have ranch. This restaurant before we was at this restaurant before what? though, and they had ranch. I don't think that was possible. Yeah, it is possible. It we, definitely we, we wasn't was the this, other location. I, yeah, it well, was I, not okay. the other location. I saw the sign, and it said this the same I thing. I saw as this the sign. I think I have a solution. That opened up the ranch bottle inside. I think I have a solution. I saw beans, the beans. Because I remember because I sang that song when I saw that sign, and I, I listened to it. Beans, okay, I think I have a solution. Right. Okay. No, I, he's right. I'm we shooting myself. Shh. 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 I quit Beans. my job. We go across the street R- and we yeah. eat so much ranch ranch until until we, until we die. You want to go to Applebee's? I say we quit this Applebee's and we go across the street to this Chili's. Well, well <laughs> and then we... We're at Applebee's? <laughs> or... Oh, I'm sorry, thing. wait, are we at a Chili's or <clears throat> Applebee's right now? You were at a Chili's, <laughs> right, I well, think. Because normally, we'll go to Applebee's, we get the two for 20, I'll say this, though. You come with us, 
What do you say we get the three for three? I say that's right. And how about I suck you both off? <laughs> what? And get and get a real uh, ranch what? ranch situation. You we get a real ranch situation going <laughs> on my yeah, face. It's about to be a ranch at this restaurant. I don't like what we're doing to this. Uh, get a real ranch situation going on my face. If you know what I'm saying, huh? What about that beans? Wait, who who is that? <laughs> How's that sound, beans guys? Is that a- it's uh, you know what it sounds great to me. You know what I'll say this is beans. Uh, normally I'm always down to to do something disgusting <laughs> to someone, <laughs> but out of respect for now, us, hold on. You're saying this as beans? Yeah, as beans, <laughs> okay. as myself. But I'll say this as you know, if someone was listening to us do this, and they had maybe given this as a prompt for us to talk about, um, out of respect for that person. I would not do this. Well, I appreciate that I, you passed the test because now we do have ranch. Oh! And guess what? You know what that means? You never die. You live forever. There, that's heaven, baby, and that's beans. <laughs> the apology. <laughs> you, apology accepted. You shouldn't have to apologize. Mm-hmm. You're better than this, Matilda, and I hope you have. A job that you love. The Jeremy Seinfeld Show. So my name's Jeremy Seinfeld. Oh, Jeremy Seinfeld. What's the deal? What? My name's Jeremy Hold Seinfeld. Hold on, I'm having an idea now. Wait. They remake Seinfeld, Ray Romano as the lead. Mm-hmm. Fucking Whoa. boom. That is how you podcast. I'm Jeremy Seinfeld. <laughs> uh. All right, you guys, that's an episode. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bonus apology to anyone who got the Chipotle buttermilk vinaigrette. The dressing had neither buttermilk nor vinegar in it. In your face. I feel less bad about this one, but isn't that fucked up? I think they made it with yogurt. <laughs> This psychopath. <laughs> this, fuck, this, this is fucking psychopath. Up. This is fucked up. You are right, dear listener. Wow. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Sorry to everybody who came to this restaurant and tried to get ranch. That's yeah. And I'm also sorry that this person was put in this situation because yeah. I've been there. It sucks. It is bullshit to not offer ranch to try and make your restaurant classier. That I mean. No. It's this stupid. is America. Stupid. Right? If anything, get some fucking aioli. Hey, oh, yeah, hey, oh, which is just a mayonnaise with like fucking garlic powder and some lemon. But it's close yeah, it's, enough it's to ranch. ranch. It's close Here's enough. the other thing get who cares about ranch, man? And we gotta go, huh? Don't I don't care about ranch. That's fine, but you still offer it. Nah, not at a, re- not at a nice restaurant. Tommy, shut the fuck up. No, Tommy. Dude, you put I'm, ranch I'm on your fucking revoking your pizza and that's it. No, you've never even <laughs> been to a ranch. Tommy. You don't put. Uh, ranch on your pizza? You put it on your spaghetti, you fucking lunatic. <laughs> no, you don't put it on your spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. You put it on your pepperoni yeah, you put, pizza. I put... No, no Tommy, put, he's I, right. I put Heinz... Grant, he's not right. Ranch, Heinz Ranch. Heinz Ranch on mm-hmm. my spaghetti, yeah. and I eat it! Christopher! Put ranch on your spaghetti! All right, oh, listen, okay. listen up! That's the episode, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> if we got anything to plug... Follow us on everything. We Cool Podcast everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, GrantWinkle'sComedy.com slash We Cool Podcast to submit an anonymous apology. Or you can create a website for me at RyanCallComedy.com slash GrantWinkle'sComedy.com slash We Cool Podcast. And you can submit an apology there. Tell your friend. Have Daniel Williams build that website for you. D- DM us. We will we will go. relay the message. There you go. Tell your friend. Uh, you'll get a do- doge coin. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh Tell, f- add Tommy on social media. Message mm-hmm. him. Say, hey, your voice isn't doing it for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so let him know. Let that's him know. it, folks. You're beautiful. You're smart. Oh, subscribe to my YouTube. And most of all, you want it. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's how that goes. Uh, and I'm back to doing stand up. Maybe. And I, qu- uh, I quit. So, and Tommy quits. And I'm yep. done. So, for Grant. The stinky pee pee winkles. So much better and, at that than and you. And Tommy, the sloppy ass bear. <laughs> I've been, I've been Ryan, uh, the cleanly, uh, the cleanly no, parts. You're Ryan. Not you're words. Ryan. These aren't the cleanly words. stinky parts call. <laughs> Not st- the cleanly, <laughs> cleanly, not stinky no. parts, bro. <laughs> no. Uh, and this has been the We Cool Podcast. Thank you. Good, Pretty good. Good job. Mm-hmm.